Hey everybody, Barry here again. I'm going back at the van tonight, but I figured I'd just post a quick update on what I'm at now. So, a couple new things on the go. Um, I couldn't get the limited slip thing to fit on this 8.8 .8 because limited slip was 28 spline, I got 31 spline. So, I ordered a mini spool yesterday, the one that I can use to stock a uh, carrier. You know, it comes with two blocks and a pin and all that stuff. So, I ordered one of those yesterday. Should be here in a few days. Probably have it Wednesday or Thursday. Today is Friday. So if it comes in a week, that's fine. But leave it up to me to have that full of oil, sealed up, all done, and then tear it all apart again. Also, uh, kind of failed on the burnout in the van. So um, a buddy of mine called me. He's like, I got an old Chevy truck here that is going to scrap, so come and get it. So I'll do burnouts in that. I'll just haul the ABS wire off and lace it. Nip off the front brake lines, all that fun stuff. Or rear brake lines, whatever. So, we'll do a good nasty burnout, hopefully, this evening. That'll be on the next video. Also, obviously, you've seen this. What I haven't really touched on very much is this. So, this is the stock K member of the van. That's a good, solid look there. Uh, this is facing forward, so this bar is going to come out of it. That held the front motor mount. Uh, the rear motor mount is right here above the rack so I may have to move the rack either forward or back a little bit which is not necessarily a big deal as long as I can try to keep this straight in relation to the floor what well, somebody else did mention was using a rack that's situated on the front of the cradle and uh, flip these shocks around which would actually work except my links would probably not line up really well but not really majorly concerned about having a sway bar I don't really care I've used one of them and it's not really it's not something that I'm afraid of so basically what I would do is unbolt the bottom ball joint here take this whole knuckle assembly move it over there so my steering rod would then be on the front of the knuckle. My rack could come across here. Now, I can't use this rack and just move it out front because when I turn the wheels to the right now, the rack spits out this side. So if I had it up here and turn my wheels to the right, the rack would spit out and turn my wheels left. So it would be pretty crazy. You go to turn right, you go left. Not a good setup. I've also been considering the option of making my own K-member, which is not a big deal because this, the only thing that's going to be mounted to this is the two control arms, obviously left and right, and potentially the rack, but maybe not if I do the front rack thing, uh, and well, where it bolts onto the body. Because the engine mounts, I'm not actually going to be mounting to this cradle anymore, where the engine is longitudinal instead of transverse. I don't need it. All I have to do is make mounts from the block and come over to here and really brace up this really good with some quarter plate or whatever and run mounts across. And same on this side because there's a nice beefy frame rail here that runs the whole length of the front end there. Something else I got to try and combat is my clutch needs to go like right there, which is not so good because that's where the strut goes. So I'll have to figure that out. Uh, the clutch master cylinder sticks out about eight inches, which I'm not too crazy concerned about, but it'd be nice if it didn't have to contact the strut or be too close. I don't really care because it's only metal. I'll move whatever I have to move. It's not a big deal, but some stuff is easier than others. And this one looks like it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. As for space, we have like a pile of it. There's lots of space up here for the engine. Lots of space for a manifold. The wipe pipe comes down here fine. Obviously, it's on an engine stand. I just have it laid there just so I could look at it and size it up. Lots of room down here, seems like, for a transmission. I know this is awful. It's not focusing very well. But what I'm going to do is bolt the engine transmission together, lay it all up in place with uh, like an engine crane or something, and then bolt the K-member up, see what I got. Something like that. This is in the very early stages yet, but 
I gotta buy some two inch ID pipe, like some schedule 40 or schedule 80 pipe to make the K member or to make the engine mounts. I'm gonna run solid motor mounts in this. I did it in the rat rod, worked fine, no issues at all. It, you could hear the transmission, you could hear the gears whining, but that was probably because they're all stripped out anyway. <laughs> so I can't really blame that on the mounts. But yeah, so this just been a quick update video on what I'm doing and what I'm gonna be doing. So uh, if you wanna check out more, subscribe and keep up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.